Everybody, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for your uh, week four ALA. It was cool to see you guys uh, touch on so many of those. It's funny because so many of those goals are so easy to put into a sentence, but they're so hard to live out. I know for me, the daily devotion one, I know I'm supposed to do it every day. I mean, I have like my stuff is literally, here's my my Bible and my devotional book are right there. And every day I sit down, I know it's the first thing I'm supposed to do, but so often I jump into email or my work right off the bat and I neglect to jump in on that. And it's so hard to make up once you've lost that time that you've set aside. So um, great, great insight. You guys did a good job pulling from your sources and it was a great job with week three. Week four, this is a little different change of pace. Hopefully you will enjoy it. Uh, we will get to jump into PowerPoint, which I'm sure is your and my favorite software on any computer anywhere. And we're looking for eight to 10 slides that can be used at, for example, in a church staff meeting that would outline the whole process for conflict management. So pretend you're giving this presentation to a staff. You're on church, either in your current position or a position you would like to uh, employ and outline your model for conflict resolution, pretty much, or conflict management. Um, read the two articles, integrate those two articles, please cite your sources uh, like you would with a paper, um, and also make sure that you have a scriptural background there regarding conflict management. So integrate source one, source two, integrate some scripture, and just unpack it for me. And when we say eight to 10 slides, that means 10 slides maximum make it tight, make it clear. And uh, please do not put slides with like a whole paragraph of text up there. I often get um, that type of thing. An economy of words is a great way to go. You are not saying everything in your slides. I'm assuming you're presenting this and that what I'm seeing on the screen is your bullet points. So um, make a presentation that's easy to digest and understand and just hit the high points. I know assignments like this, we often feel like we have to say everything, and this is one where you do not. But do incorporate the two sources, the scripture. Um, I do wanna see a works cited slide at the very end, so make sure that that is included. And then uh, after that, just submit it. And then, yeah, this week's kind of a piece of cake. This is week four, it's a good time to start looking to week seven. I know I keep bringing this up. Do not let this assignment catch you by surprise. I would love to see you guys submit some great work there. So. Uh, start peeking ahead at that, start outlining what you got. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, shoot me a text and I will see you guys very soon.